Oh, well, yeah, that's sort of one of the popular notions now. We're in this holographic universe. We're in a simulation. Um, the, um, the idea of the, uh, you know, dual slit experiment that uh, basically as we observe something, we collapse the wave equation and that the, the waves turn to particles and things like that. That's uh, the quant and quantum theory uh, is, is sort of really bizarre. Um, well, the idea of being in a simulation, I think to some extent, I wouldn't really call it a simulation. I would call it something that has to do with you make your own world. And, uh, you know, I can walk down the street, the same street, physically in a physical world, and uh, I will have different impressions of that walk than the more person that's right beside me and different attitude. For example, I'll look at the flowers and they say, wow, aren't they beautiful? I mean, and smell them. That's what I did this morning. I went and walked down the street and I was smelling the flowers. And, uh, but another person would walk down the street beside me and say, gosh, look at the cracks in the sidewalk. They need to do something about that. That tree needs to be trimmed, things like that. So, you know, that person didn't see what I saw and didn't experience what I experienced. So is there some master simulation out there? I don't know. Um, uh, certainly, uh, I do know we're all connected somehow. We're connected to everything. We're entangled. Quantum theory tells us we're all entangled, even from the Big Bang. So there's a part of me that's coupling and entangled uh, from a, uh, a quantum standpoint to what's going on inside of you. So we do have this connection. We do have this coupling. And oh, by, by the way, what we think affects this other person because we send out signals and those signals can be ones of sort of beholding, embracing, um, loving and liking and being supportive or they can be sort of ones of hate and or ones of displeasure or criticism. And so we send those signals out and they affect. That's why we need to be for what we think. So anyhow, now, um, back to your question about simulation. Um, simulation can teach us a lot, and maybe that's why we're here. If this is a simulation, because maybe there are only certain ways we can learn. But simulations can make us better. We use them all the time in flight training. That pilots can uh, pilots have to fly so many hours in the simulator before they go into real life. So maybe this is just preparing us for something to come. I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs>